Thomas tells a lie. The season was chasing on the island of Soto. The leaves had begun to change color and the air was going crisp. Thomas Tekis was feeling restless. Summer is almost over and I haven't had any real fun, he complained. You are a fussy little urchin, replied Gordon. We're not here to have fun, we're here to work. Well, that didn't make Thomas feel any better. I want to be fussy and fun than bossy and boring, he he retorted. The next morning, Sir Thomas had called the SS together. We're opening a new restaurant tomorrow, he told them. I need one of you to check the signals on the new line to see that they are working properly. Who will volunteer? I will, Thomas popped up. Second scissors wasn't much fun, but it was better than being bossy around in the train yard. Off you go then, said the top of hat, and be sure to check every signal. So Thomas, save the ease of first concern. Something about starting new tracks always puts Thomas in a good mood. He whistled merrily as he rolled along the new breast slide. Save the scissors, we are useful, he thought. Save the ease of first concern. Each time he saw a signal, Thomas made sure that the arm was in the right position. He also checked to see that the signal lamp was working, so it could be seen at night. If the signal arm was down and the lamp was wet, that means danger on the tracks ahead. There were hidden sections, hanging walks, dangerous curves, and steep hills. Thomas had almost reached the end of the new breast slide, where he saw the sign for carnival. There was nothing Thomas loved more than a carnival. Oh, how he would love to go. If I hurry to the carnival now, I could check the western signals later, he told himself. And with that, Thomas turned off and headed to the, into the countryside. The, car the carnival was splendid. There were games and rides and cotton candy, and there were lots of children. Look, it's Thomas, they cried and went to greet their favorite blue engine. When Thomas got back to the train yard, Sir Thomas Harry was waited. You've been gone a long time, Thomas, he said. You must have done a very thoughtful job of checking the signals on the new west line. Yes, sir, peeped Thomas, and just like that, without thinking about it, Thomas told a lie. He had a mean to. He certainly realized that he forgot to go back and face the job. But how could we tell that Sir Thomas had? Good, Sir Thomas had to say him that everything is ready for tomorrow's grand opening. Thomas scoffed. Well, if there was trouble, well, if one of the odd second seals didn't work. I know, thought Thomas. I'll get out very early tomorrow and go out to check the West Virginia's before the grand opening. That night, Percy was being loaded for his mail one. When a car came into the station, Wade was waiting out, lost out of seconds of attacks on the mail. Oh, well, Percy will have to find a way around. Don't worry, Percy, Tom had smiled. You could take the new west line. Our Percy went poor two big cars loaded with mail. The way fell heavily. Each time Percy saw a wet sail up, no, he slowed carefully until he had piled this rich spot. Then suddenly in the dark, Percy passed another signal. The lamp was not lit, so he didn't see it until too late. The arm was down for danger, Percy. She slapped on his brakes, but the way made the trash slippery, and then it was ahead a very dangerous curve. Oh no! cried Percy. He closed his eyes and did his best to hold on to the twin. Crash! One of the mail cars flew off the tracks. It was smashed to bits. Percy shivered with fear from his close car. The next morning, Thomas awoke and sneaked out of his head. Then he saw Percy return with Sir Thomas Head. Percy had a terrible fright at Sir Thomas Head stealing. He almost derailed because of a sin lab that didn't work. How could such a thing have happened, Thomas? Oh, um, sir, I'm so sorry, sir, Thomas spoke. And all came once it out about the carnival and the city and about how he had forgot to go back and face the top. I'm sorry. I told a lie, said Thomas Seepless. I just wanted to be part of the fun. Did we